Welcome back everyone. Today I want to count down the top 10 worst songs of the entire 1990s decade. I mean, they can't all be great. I'm one to say that the 90s was the golden age of music. You had genres like gangster rap, R&B, grunge, teen pop, so on and so forth. So making this list was kind of tough, but I came up with top 10 songs that I think are the absolute worst. To qualify for this list, instead of basing it off the decade year in list, I'm going to base it off of any year in this between the years 1990 to 1999. So at maximum, 1,000 songs qualify for this list. So without further ado, here are the top 10 worst songs of the 90s. Before we begin, if you want to see music bios or more good videos like this, hit the subscribe button. Also, I've started a Patreon account. On here you get more copyrighted material and they'll be uploaded 48 hours prior to YouTube. If you want to support or visit, link is in the description. And without further ado, on to our feature presentation. Before we even start the top 10, let's talk about a few dishonorable mentions. And we're going to start off with a song that I kind of am hurt putting on this list. I think this song is just a victim of aging badly. And if you know the line, you know. You gotta smile so bright. You know you could have been a kind of. I hate to admit it, but the Brian Adams song for me is a guilty pleasure. And that's why it's not on this list. But instead, we have white people with the fake reggae accents. Covering a classic Motown song. And I'm for one to say... Just stick to the original. When a man loves a woman. 1992 was an odd year. Plenty of good, plenty of bad. Some of the bad landed on this list. So picking a dishonorable mention was tough. So why not the over singy cover ballad? And like with the previous, just stick with the original. This was very close making this list. Again, the course annoyed me and all the memes it influenced. Now I'm breaking my own rules on this one because this did not make the year end list for 1994 or 1995. Thank God for the rules back in the day. But what saddens me the most about this song is the fake lambs who associate Mariah with this song instead of I don't know, We Belong Together, One Sweet Day, Always Be My Baby, Vision of Love, so on and so forth. And now with that out the way, let's get onto the list proper with number 10. Sometimes circumstance can make a decent song bad, so I'm just going to let Steve Smith introduce this one. Everybody dance now, eh, 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 eh. Take it somewhere else, Spaz. Come on, let's go. Baby. One of the biggest reasons why this is on this list is the behind the scenes mess this song left behind. Now in 1991, we had one of the biggest music scandals in the music industry when it was revealed that Millie Vanilli didn't sing a single note on their debut album. And as we all know, their best new artist Grammy got stripped. We end up getting the same thing with this one as Zelma Davis, the model in the lip synced video, she lip synced Martha Wash's vocals. Martha is a plus size woman who wouldn't fit for the video, and CC Factory, I'm accusing you of fat shaming. They did get the issue resolved years later, but because of this scandal, I can't even listen to the song the same anymore. I don't even care if the production was decent, and the song itself is actually fine for what it is. This song should have ended CC Factory's careers. Next, number nine. In the 90s, Tag Team had a song called Whoop There It Is. That song is fun, that stood the test of time. But you want to know a group that ripped off their sound with a very cringy dance? The butterfly, uh uh, that's all, let me see the two zero. If you don't know, the 69 boys are from Jacksonville, Florida, and the only reason they call themselves that because every member was born in the year 1969. Now the Tootsie Roll, the dance looks very stupid, and the song is just, let me see the Tootsie Roll. 
Want to know what makes this song even more cringy was that they performed this at the dangerous 1995 Source Awards and they were twerking on stage. I know Snoop was mad uncomfortable watching that. And I don't think this is what Andre meant when he said the South got something to say. Overall, the dance, the song is stupid and it's not nice. Number 8. Keeping on the topic of 69, that was the position of his year in list spot in 1997, and it's also not nice. I get no doubt, but I get over again, but I get no First of all, why didn't you call the song I Get Knocked Down instead of whatever tub thumping means? Shouldn't be surprised that the song come from a group named Chumba Wumba. It goes to show you that these guys were tenant being one hit wonders. But their story goes back all the way to 1982, because they've been in the UK indie scene, and Tub Thumping was the only song to cross over to America. Now why the song is bad boils down to the verses, with the whole whiskey drink, vodka drink, whole drink not making any sense. I guess they trying to pull off this drunken anthem. It's a song that was built for the course and nothing else around it, and there is nothing distinct about this outside of its catchiness. Let's move on. Number 7. The 90s had a lot of great R&B groups, but I think this song is probably the worst coming from that era. For Color Me Bad, I get the novelty of I Wanna Sex You Up and I Adore Me More is their best song in our catalog, but this one is hands down their worst. And it kinda boils down to the production being very slapdash, and as for the content, it's these guys trying to please this girl and we need to go all length to be with them. But the delivery comes out very cheesy and not in a good kind of way. And I get it, being cheesy isn't bad, but when it's poorly executed, it gets more notice. In other words, this song is very lousy. Next. Number 6. Alright, stop. Collaborate and listen. I sit back with my brand new adventures. A few people expect Ice Ice Baby being on this list. But I don't think the song isn't that bad because Ice has a few great punchlines. But one of the biggest criticisms Ice had was his credibility in the toxic black hip hop culture. Well, instead of attacking Ice, they should go after this nincompoop. Well, if you don't know who Snow is, he was a wannabe reggae rapper from Toronto. Now, one issue I have with this song is that I can't understand what he's saying. And when I don't, it doesn't make any sense. Now for Jim Carrey, he saved this song with his version. It destroyed and pimp slapped Snow's version. I am what I am and that's all that I am. A skilly button get up, dip it up the bow. That actually got a big laugh out of me. But in all honesty, Informer's still horrible though. Number 5. Okay, this one's easy to pick on. Don't tell my heart. I want to confess, I do not have a nostalgia for 90s country. Most of my nostalgia comes from R&B, hip hop, and teen pop, and that's why I'm a little harsher when discussing those type of songs. But that doesn't mean I could pick on a pretty bad country song from Miley's dad, where he says if you remove the heart from the relationship, they'd be better off, but admitting doing so would kill this man. But I will say part of why this song is bad is not his fault. I kind of think the production really limits him. I give him that. And at least Billy Ray Cyrus was able to rebound with his daughter and with Lil Nas X. But on his own, this sucks. Let's move on. Number 4 A wise man once said, why not take a top 10 pop hit, fit the music, and make senseless rhymes fit. That one lyric came from third base and it sums up this next entry. Kids on the block had a bunch of hits. Chinese food makes me sick. Did you know that that creepy Lou Pearlman guy had another boy band outside of Backstreet in NSYNC? Now, this song has one positive, the opening line, but after this, the song goes south from there. Like Informa, this song doesn't make any sense, as he wants their girls to wear Amber Combi and Fitch. Nair also has some very stupid lines involving Larry Bird, Whistling Willie, Michael J. Fox, The Color Purple, and Paul Revere, but the lines that really triggered me the most was, When you take a sip, you buzz like a hornet. 
Billy Shakespeare wrote a whole bunch of sonnets. You're probably asking, what does this line have to do with anything? And I don't think Shakespeare's appreciate you calling him Billy. Now I know two of their members are deceased, but if they were alive, I will tell them that this is one of the stupidest songs I've ever heard. Let's move on. Number three. Okay, the last three songs on this list are based on annoyance, and the first one is very easy to hate. Come on, Barbie, let's go party. I'm a Barbie girl in the Barbie world. Full disclosure, this was originally number one on my list, but I hate to admit it, the Barbie World sample they used in 2023 saved it, as it wasn't a disaster like the original. As I mentioned earlier, this song is an earache and a half. And if you think the song is about Barbie dolls, guess again. It's supposed to be about body positivity, but why do some lines come off as glorifying plastic surgery? Whatever the song may be about, the chorus and the sound really annoys me to the point whenever I hear the song, I want to turn it off. I'm surprised to see that this song didn't top my list, but before we get to that... Number 2 Now there are some positives. The production is not terrible with the bass line and the piano sounding like it came from the early dance craze of the 90s, but once again, annoyance is the theme of the day. The monotone singing that brings down the song some notches, but what triggers me most of all is the offsprings that this song bred. In each one of those offsprings are some of the worst songs in each artist's catalog. Now I know this song was meant to be a joke, but I can't fancy this annoying song. Wonder what could possibly top this. Before I unveil my top pick, let's go over a few more dishonorable mentions. To me, 1995 was one of the best years for music, so how about picking one of the worst songs for R&B girl groups of that era? I just didn't really care for it. Another song I'm hurt putting on this list, cause this was the B-side of Why I Love You So Much, one of my favorite songs of all time. But it boils down to the content being well above her 15 years of age at the time, and Trich really downgrades the song even worse. I think this song is more hilariously bad as the Spice Girls try to become subliminally sexual. Baby, when the lights go out, every single okay, Five had two hits in America, and unfortunately, the United States chose to push this instead of Slam Dunk the Funk. And this song is probably the worst of the boy band era. Nineteen ninety nine was another tough year for dishonorable mentions, but I think Take Me There was more of a bigger disappointment. As I'm a big fan of Rugrats, this just sounded bad. What a waste of Mace and Mike. Before we continue, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit the like button. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well. And now, let's continue with the video. Number one. I never did this before, but number one is actually a tie. I'm not surprised this topped my list, but to explain this tie, both versions made the 1996 year end list with the Bayside Boys version topping said list, robbing a far superior record breaking song from the top. First of all, the dance is stupid. I don't even know how to do this stupid macaroni dance. And where the annoyance comes from, the repetitive course. The content, I don't know, I don't care. Whatever, the DJ plays this at dances, weddings, Bill Clinton rallies for re-election, even if I wasn't alive for that. I just don't wanna hear this song at every single gathering I go to. Oh, and the production's week two at least on the Bayside re I never get this annoyed, but I do think that this was the most annoying robbery of a hit of the 90s. And thank God Los Del Rios never got another hit. And with that being said, I don't care which version, the Macarena by Los Del Rios 
is the worst song of the 90s. Tell me what y'all think in the comments below. What are the songs that I left off this list? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.